New this morning, a Blacksburg company is part of a groundbreaking surgery many of us have been talking mm -hmm. about. You may have heard about the pig heart that was successfully transplanted into a human. 10 News reporter Brittany Weir is working for you on how this scientific breakthrough has been years in the making, and we have some local ties here. We do too. have some local ties. So even though the surgery itself happened in Maryland, uh, it made possible by a company here in Blacksburg. So this life-saving surgery is the first successful transplant of a pig's heart into a human. This eight-hour operation took place in Baltimore on January 7th, and the heart used in this incredible surgery came from Revacor, which is a regenerative medicine company based here in Blacksburg. Right here in Blacksburg, uh, we cloned the first pigs in the world in 2000. We cloned the first uh, alpha-gal uh, knockout pigs in 2003, and we've been building and improving this genetics and developing this technology since then, leading up to this exciting uh, transplant. The scientific officer at Revacor, David Aris, says this was 20 years in the making. This transplant was possible by doing multiple genetic modifications to the pig. We have deleted uh, three pig genes that are associated with immune rejection. Uh, we've also added six human genes. And finally, we've uh, uh, inactivated or knocked out a pig gene that keeps these organs uh, human size. The patient who received the pig heart is 57-year-old David Bennett Sr. He was bedridden and would have died without a new heart. And his family said he had no other options. It came as a surprise. It was a last option and wasn't presented until basically the week before Christmas. The FDA worked quickly to make this surgery possible. Through emergency use authorization, they approved the operation on New Year's Eve. The FDA was so responsive and collaborative. Uh, it's been a great uh, opportunity. David Bennett's son is amazed by the technology and how far medicine has come to make this possible. I can't say anything but thank you, and I know that's not enough, but that's what I can say at this point is thank you for the tireless effort and resources that you've put into making this possible. This groundbreaking procedure could offer hope to hundreds of thousands of patients with failing organs. We're trying to solve an incredible unmet medical need. Uh, there are just not a number, enough organs in the United States for donation and in the world uh, around. Um, so you know, this is going to change the paradigm for organ transplantation. And I spoke with David Bennett's son yesterday, and he told me that his dad is doing very well. I mean, he's still in critical condition, but becoming more stable each day. This is incredible. It is. Just to see medicine technology. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about the Blacksburg tie, because it's really cool that this is happening right here. I know this awesome, you know, like we said, groundbreaking surgery, and then it's got local ties for us as well. So that company in Blacksburg, they are building a clean pig facility in the NRV that will help supply organs for future donations. So we could see more of this and, you know, in the coming years. And they're also doing a non-human primate study in baboons this year, and that should be uh, moving more toward completion toward the end of the year, and then they'll be moving forward to clinical trials in 2023. So a lot coming out of the NRV. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, another reason why we should be proud of our area. Mm -hmm. We're doing really big things here. Exactly.